don't be too let down because that's not everybody. I think <laughs> Selene is just a little smarter than most people. Oh, there's a beautiful bird outside. Did yeah, you know? I was hearing it too. Oh, that was yes. lovely. Yeah, so we're out in nature. I love that sound. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone and welcome back to Korean Rhapsody. We're here with a brand new season, season 2 of Korean Rhapsody. Now this season it will be more focused on you, our lovely viewers. We'll be sharing some stories that you sent us and be communicating, empathizing and giving you some advice. I am so excited for this. Now after we share the stories, we'll be playing some traditional renditions of songs that we recommend. Mm -hmm. So please stay tuned for that. We do have a new guest that we need to introduce. Well, hello everyone. I, I'm Selene and I'm from the Netherlands and I'm also working as a model and an actress. Ah, wow, model and an actress. Yes. So how was it when you first came to Korea? One thing that I actually really um, was different compared to, I think, the Netherlands, but also more Western countries, is that how kind Korean people are, even mm. to people who they don't know. Mm. Like, they will just help you if you ask them. So mm -hmm. I was really touched by that. Mm. That's something we call chong. Oh. So you Hanguge were touched chong. by the Korean chong yes. and you fell in love, which is yes. great. Yes. I heard that for our first episode, we mm -hmm. have a special story waiting for us. Yes, we do have a very oh. special story. This was recorded by my voice. <laughs> So it might be a little bit funny, but I'm sure you guys will have some fun with it. Hello, I came from Mexico four years ago to live in Korea. I'm currently a student here in Korea, and I had a lot of interest in Korean music, so I decided to come and live here to learn more about it. I love all Korean songs, but my all-time favorite is the Korean traditional song. Arirang. This was back when it was Chuseok. Subways in Korea are so complicated and there's so many lines and so so many people. I was so fascinated by all the eye-catching scenery until I realized that I was the only one who came alone. As I was starting to feel lonely, these two elderly couple came up to me. Excuse me, young lady. Where did you come from? I'm from Mexico. Well, you came from far away. How is Korea so far? Sometimes I faced some difficulties, but I met a lot of nice people and they helped me adapt. Still, it must be difficult for you to adapt here. Are you eating well? Food is the best medicine. Did you eat? I was in a hurry today, so I did not get to eat yet. Oh dear, you must be hungry. Honey, do you know it's Chuseok today? There is a food you must eat on Chuseok Day. We really appreciate you having interest in our culture from a country so far away. This is called Songpyeon. This is a food you must eat on Chuseok Day. Also, this is Hobakjeon and Pechujeon. Make sure you heat it up before you eat it. I still can't forget their facial expression when they handed me their food. Even though I was at the festival all by myself, my way back home was filled with warmth. Mmm, wow, what a wonderful story. That yes. was some amazing voice acting. It I wonder was. who did it, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, so the summary of the story is about Korean tong, Hanguge tong. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is a classic example of the Korean tong. Ige paro Hanguge tong. Yeah, it's, very, it's a very big thing in Korea. So, if you come to Korea, you'll have many instances where you will feel this loving, caring, warm yeah. connection even with strangers, okay? It's time to play the first song that we recommended on today's episode. Now, Selena, which song did you prepare for us? Well, actually, I chose mm -hmm. I Give You My Heart by IU. Ah. It's an OST from Crash Landing mm. on You. And I'm a really big fan of that drama. Mm. Also, I'm a really big fan of Hyunbin. <laughs> <laughs> are you a fan of Hyunbin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and the lyrics are beautiful because it goes, I have nothing to give you. So I give you my heart. Oh, it's very sad, warm, yeah. and very sweet. Yeah. It's so heartwarming. Mm. So let's listen to our first song together.
was such a beautiful rendition. Yes, yeah, you chose so a perfect beautiful. song. It harmonized very well. It went very well with the tegum. Oh, mm. that was so beautiful. Like I like the original song, but mm. this just gives like a whole completely different mm. emotion and feeling. Now it's time to hear our second story for today's episode. Now this was someone who wanted to do well in Korea. But was worried because they were blocked by language barriers. This was also <laughs> recorded by my voice alone. <laughs> so yeah, it might be a little funny, but please understand. Hello, I'm from Denmark, and in a few days it will mark one year since I came from home. I love learning different languages, so I decided to learn Korean because it had the least characters to learn out of all the other Asian languages. But I thought wrong. Korean was actually few of the languages that was known to be very hard to learn. Today, let's talk about food in Korean. What's your favorite food? My favorite is chicken. Fried chicken is my favorite. You're right, chicken is very delicious. What do you drink with chicken? Uh, drink? I just drink Coke. That. Using the word that is not fitting for situations like this. You only use it when an object is far away from us. There is no coke in front of us. At that very moment, my mind went blank. I always think that I could do better, but whenever I start conversations with my teacher, I realize I get so nervous. One day, I was going to order delivery food with my friend. Hey, what do you want to eat? Uh, I want to eat pizza. Okay, I'll go get some snacks. Could you order the pizza? Cool it down. Cool what down? There's nothing to cool down. No, no, I mean order it, not cool it down. Oh, you mean order. <laughs> Justin, in situations like this, should I just go back home or should I keep on trying to learn more? Please help me! That was, but that was amazing voice acting. Yeah, and it was, it was acting, but yeah. a plus. <laughs> but no, don't go back home. Stick around because you're doing great. Because I think learning a new language is always intimidating and can be very, very difficult. Yes, But true. starting something is always half the battle. So Lena, how about you? Well, when you learned Korean mm -hmm. specifically, mm -hmm. how did you learn it? Well, how did you go about it? Actually, I think I learned that in maybe one or two days. Mm -hmm. What? I think it was a video okay. and it explained it really simply, mm. like how to remember it. And I just memorized that in mm. one day. Wow. And of course I had to practice reading it, but I learned writing it, I think in one or two days. Wow. Okay. So if you can't learn a new language in one or two days, don't be too let down because that's not everybody. I think <laughs> Selena is just a little smarter than most people. Oh, there's a beautiful bird outside. Yeah, yeah, I was hearing too. Oh, that was yes. lovely. Yeah. So we're out in nature. I love that sound. Mm -hmm. Don't worry in the song and the lyrics. Uh, it helps with kind of trying to forget about the past, you know. What's gone is gone. It's gone by. Mm -hmm. So I think the lyrics will help you out. That's very and nice. And even in this difficult time of learning Korean or learning something new, everything will be meaningful at the end. So keep trying. We'll be supporting you here. Your skills will improve. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I will be rooting mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. Fighting! Fighting! So, <laughs> so let's all listen to Don't Worry Together right now. <laughs> 